Uh, you said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected, no, don't, don't, even if they're bitten. No, no, delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. Th th this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we're running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. You don't understand the mothers, the mothers. Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! God, fucking mountains. Looks occupied, more or less.
What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? And you work for that crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Uh, excuse me. Please, we don't talk to strangers. Ah. Hey. Blessed be the mother. Huh? Uh, uh, listen, I, I just need some information. I don't know anything. You should ask Jazir. Uh, okay. Where do I find him? Inside. In the barn. Thanks. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jasir. You will not see him again. Do you hear me? I forbid it! Father, please! Can't we talk no, about this? No, no! End of discussion! Fine! Fine! Eski! Wait! Eski! I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, well, you know, this is Crane. Do you copy? Fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere. Do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Hey, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen. I'm short a man now, and since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. What partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. <laughs> you want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm by what are you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right?
to tell you, if you ain't got none, find yourself some weapons. The farm's a bandit outpost. Wait, what? You, you forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car.
You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's gotta be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Ezgi, by the way. Kyle Crane, Ezgi. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Thanks for the hint, Esky. Hey, but when you said they asked him to leave, you didn't... You didn't mean the people who live around here, right? No. These people never actually do anything. They couldn't get rid of Khan for months before. Why would they do it now? Still dodging the question. Still not sure if you deserve an answer. Yeah, but kicking someone out of the community just because he was... rude? Isn't that a little bit cruel? Could be. But there's only a tiny wall between us and a swarm of bandits and zombies and who knows what else. One man's big mouth could be enough to tear this place apart. And you're okay with that? And if he can't find shelter out there, he's a dead man. Oh, come on. You're from the city. You know people like Khan, don't you? They always find a way to survive. He'd barter with a corpse if it meant he'd get away from trouble. Every new customer is a blessing. You're actually selling something out here? Water. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterburns. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? When you can start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? You, Vato. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. 
So be it. All right, boys. <laughs> Jazir sent me. Or what Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can re... Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, 
Shit! Shit! They must have closed it! And this equipment's fucking ancient! To the fight first, we are all well and truly fucked! I'll get the valve open, where is it? It's the shit out of me! All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline! For fuck's sake, hurry! Go! I'll keep trying on this end! Go! And hurry! Station. The pipeline ends here. Then look for the main valve, goddammit! All this fucking alarm won't shut up! Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger.
Thank you, Kyle. I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No, thank you. don't even know what you just did for us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Vizier, in Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the Mother. Faith? Uh, okay, I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the Mother, and she protects us. We have no need of... Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the Faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm, and my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle.
But listen, your patient was right. There's this there's this group here, and all of its members seem to be immune to the virus. Immune? How is that possible? I don't know. They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I'll try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. Keep trying, but be careful.
fuck. Power must be offline. Jazeer, this is Crane. Just ran across what could be a pretty secure location, but I can't get the power to come on. Any idea why? Yes, but it's a long story, and I'm no electrician. You're better off asking Bilal, our mechanic, about the details. Excuse me, you, uh, you the oh, owner no. here? No. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. 